Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. I give you shit that I know you all don't know and I give you shit that ain't gonna hurt me. Let me give you some more things. Demetrius used to always wear two guns. He kept one on his hip and he wore one on his ankle at all times. He kept two guns on him. He wore an ankle gun and he wore a gun on his side at all times. And any time Demetrius did hits, he always used a riot punk shotgun. He always used a riot punk shotgun. Not a Uzi, not all of that nonsense. That was the best friends who used Uzis and Maserati Rick and all of that. Demetrius really was a shotgun man. And he kept two 32s on him at all times. 132 on his side and 132 on his leg every day I ever seen him. Understand that he stayed strapped and heated up at all times. And I'm going to tell you something else a lot of you really don't know. In the beginning, Wizard and Ghost is the only two best friends who was really doing his. For Demetrius. Boogaloo hung more with Maserati Rick. Understand that, but I'm gonna give it to you real in the beginning. Wizard and Ghost was fucking with D and Boogaloo was fucking with Maserati. Wizard and Ghost was fucking with Maserati. But I'm gonna tell y'all something else. Rock and Rage really didn't come in until Wizard and Ghost got killed. Because see, the Brown Boys was down. The Brown Boys was down. That's all D ever called them. If Rock and Rage didn't come in, all he had to take care of was Boogaloo, but Rock and Rage came in. Understand that Rock and Rage, to my knowledge, never did no hits for Demetrius and Maserati. It was always Ghost and Wither, Ghost and Wizard, and Boogaloo. Rock and Reg came in to offend his brother's death. To revenge his brother's deaths is really why Rock and Reg came in in my looking at it, from my knowledge of it. Understand this, Rock and Reg was not doing hits for Maserati and Demetrius. He came in avenging his brother's death, Wizard and Ghost, and Boogaloo had nearly been killed. So at this point, when Rock and Reg really came in, the other two was dead, and, Tom, and Boogaloo is in the motherfucking hospital. No, they finna kill him in there. Rock and Reg decided to enter in to avenge his brothers, cause Demetrius had damn near took them all out. Wizard and Ghost was dead. Boogaloo in the hospital. He already on his way to kill him in the hospital, trying to finish him off. But Boogaloo had enough sense to get the hell out of the hospital, but he didn't move quite fast enough because they sent him right back in the hospital as quick as he walked out. They put him back in the hospital as quick as he walked out. And see, this is what I be trying to tell you all. I know what was in the newspapers, and I know what wasn't in the newspaper. So anything I mention to any of you has been in the newspaper and they wrote about it. So I got it from the newspaper. Understand that I got it from the newspapers. Anything I didn't get from there, I don't talk about. I know what's in the newspaper just like you do. I know what wasn't in the newspaper too. Understand that I know what ain't in the newspaper too. And I just have to say to all of you, I home the stories and I get them together for you because I like to entertain you and I truly appreciate your audience. And I always try to say thank you for all the ones who really like me. And that's the truth. And the ones who don't, I try to be even polite to them and say move on. Brother, if you don't like me, if you don't like my show, there's many other shows on YouTube you can go watch. You don't have to watch me. I'm not twisting your arm. I'm not begging you. 
I'm not doing any of those things. So I figured out, I even like you, my brother, because you watch me, you view me. Even in your comments, you let me know you take time to watch me, and I truly do appreciate that. And that's from the heart, bro. But if you don't like the show that much, change the channel. I always tell you that, too. If you really don't like the show, change the channel. But I try to tell you what you ain't going to know and what the newspapers don't know. Understand that what I tell you, I know you can look in the newspaper. That's why I tell you to look in the newspaper. Because I know it's in there. And I know if you read it in there, you got it from there. If I tell you I got it from there, that's where I got it from. Understand that. I know what's in the newspapers, and I know what's not in the newspapers. And I'm going to explain something else to you all, because we was always bugged heavily by the feds. Demetrius was always hot. He did not use names. The only thing he said was the brown boys. Never did he use a name. You have never, ever, in any of my stories, hear me tell you a name that is not in the newspaper. Any name I give you is in the newspaper. Understand that I know what names to give you and what names not to give you. I know what names is in the newspapers and I know what names ain't in the newspaper. So just know that. When I give you the story, I give you the real here at Real True Street Crime coming to you when I'm talking about the last soldier, Demetrius Holloway. When I'm talking about the fat man, Eddie Jackson, understand that my vocabulary and my library runs a long way. As Doc Gambino say, my vocabulary and my library runs a long way. And we just getting started. Understand that here at Real True Street Crime, we've been going at it for about three years. Other networks, like my brother Brown, been at it for 10. Understand that we came to get down here at Real True Street Clown and Clown. We came to get down and clown right here at Real True Street Crime. Lyrically, we come to clown and get down and put it down. We came to clown, get down and put it down. Right here at Real True Street Crime on YouTube, Red Dot Red Shoes. That's why I tell you, we don't call names out too much that wasn't in the newspaper. So if I call a name out, I can guarantee you it was in the newspaper. So as I say to you all, Simmons Law, check her out. She will definitely help you out. Jelani's Taste and Table. Moving on up all the way to a high rise in the sky in Arizona. So enjoy Arizona, my brother, and rise to the sky. Understand that they say if you go on shoot up there, if you get the stars, you all right. Understand that you just one of the stars twinkling so bright. So go ahead on and rise. Real, true street crime. Understand that? And my man, Jelani's Taste and Table, world-class chef, straight out of Baker's Culinary College, on his way. Understand that? On his way, all the way to Arizona. And as I say to all of you, Top Tier Cuts 313, Super Ken, for this Super Bowl weekend. And let me ask all of you this. If it's a show you don't like, do you constantly watch it and uh, criticize it, call in? I hate this show when you don't even have to watch it. If I don't like a show, I generally don't watch it. Understand that. If I don't like a show, I don't watch it. Because I try to motivate. I don't hate. If I don't like the show, I ain't got nothing to say but love, brother. Keep trying and make it better. That's what we call motivating. Hating is when you got, always got something to say and you're always criticizing. This ain't good enough. That ain't good enough. That ain't good enough. The set don't look good enough. Understand that 
Alexander O'Neill made a song called Criticize. But as I say, Big Boss Film is right here on YouTube too. Courtney Brown Jr. is Big Boss Film right here on YouTube too. And Motown Mafia Podcast on Spotify is Courtney Brown Jr. too. And the fat man finna come on podcast on Spotify on Real True Street Crime Podcast. Look out, cause it's coming right at you. Understand that. Look out, cause Real True Street Crime Podcast is coming right at you. And as I always say, Clarence and Matt Calf, two loud brothers, straight out of Highland Park, Michigan. Them brothers is awful loud. Clarence and Matt Calf, loud deliveries. Check them out for yourself today. And Top Tier Cuts, 313 Super Ken. And Simmons Law, check her out and she will definitely help you out. Simmons Law, check her out and she will definitely help you out. And Coney Island Chronicles is Coney Island Tony. Have you had your loud today? Clarence and Matt have two loud brothers straight out of Highland Park, Michigan. Understand that, and I can't hold you no longer because I got to tell you, check us out over there on Crime Town, Kingpin's Kids. And as I say to you all, D didn't use names at all. D didn't use names at all, brother. So subscribe, share, and like. And let me say this. If an indictment had it came down, I guarantee you Maserati Rick would have took the grunt of it because they had all the pictures and all the conversations. He was talking with the best friends. D didn't do no talking, bro. Period. A lot of whispering. 